Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss how to compute the mean of discrete probability distribution. Our objectives first illustrate and calculate the mean of a discrete random variable. Second, interpret the mean of discrete random variable and solve problems involving mean of probability distributions. So kung matatandaan nyo sa uh, bago yung video lesson na to, diniscuss natin kung paano mag-construct ng probability distribution, ng discrete probability distribution, at kung paano identify kung discrete probability distribution ba ang given distribution. So, kung matatandaan natin, uh, ginawa din natin yung pag-construct ng histogram. So, itutuloy lang natin yung discussion about doon. Pero dito, ay eh, kukumpute natin yung mean nung nakuha nating probability distribution. Okay? So, using the formula, so, gamit yung symbol na to, ito ay, uh, ito yung gagamitin nating symbol for mean of the probability distribution. So, tinatawag siyang mu na symbol. So, paano natin kukunin yung mean ng discrete probability distribution? It simply multiply the uh, value of a random variable. So, imumultiply lang natin yung value ng random variable times the corresponding probability niya. And then, get the sum of uh, it. And then, uh, yan na yung mean ng probability distribution. Again, so, ang gagamitin ng formula, that is the summation of x times the x is the value of a random variable and p of x that is the corresponding probability. So, kunin lang natin yung summation. So, for example, uh, the discrete probability distribution ng dalawang coins no, na tinos and then let x be the number of heads. Okay, so ito yung uh, discrete probability distribution ng number of heads with the corresponding probability. So, kung kukunin natin yung mean value nito, so ang gagawin lang natin, so yung, ilagay natin yung mga value ng random variable, that is 0, 1, and 2. And then, imumultiply lang natin ang mga to sa corresponding probability nila. So, 0 times 1 fourth, so ito, plus 1 times 1 half, plus 2 times 1 fourth. And then, okay, so pwede nyo i-compute menta dito or you can use a calculator to get the answer. So, 0 times 1 for 0 na yan. 1 times 1 half, that is 1 half. Plus, 2 times 1 fourth. So, 2 times 1 fourth. So, pwede natin mag-cancel dito. So, maging 1 half na lang. So, ang natira dyan, 1 half plus 1 half. So, the answer is 1. So, ibig sabihin, yung mean nung... Uh, distribution na to, itong discrete probability distribution na to is 1. Another example, what is the mean outcome for rolling a single die? So, we all know that uh, we have 6 possible outcomes. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then, using the, proba uh, the discrete probability distribution, so, ano yung mga possible, ano yung corresponding probability ng 6 possible outcomes? So, na-discuss natin to, ginawa, uh, kin, itong problem na to ay pinaliwanag rin natin dun sa previous video lesson. So, kung hindi mo na panood yun, dapat panoorin nyo muna how to construct the discrete probability distribution para may idea kayo kung paano kinoconstruct or kinukuha yung discrete probability distribution. So, kagaya nito, so, uh, meron tayong uh, values ng anim na possible outcomes. So, ito yung values ng anim na possible outcomes. So, then then kunin natin yung mga probability nila, yung corresponding probability. So, yung probability na makakuha ka ng 1, that is 1 over 6. Ganun din kay 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, uh, ang focus talaga natin is to compute the mean ng uh, probability distribution. So, malalaman natin na probability distribution ang given kapag uh, pasok siya sa dalawang 
properties na binigay doon sa unang video lesson natin, di ba? Ano yung properties na dapat nating tandaan na kapag inad natin to, no, yung lahat ng corresponding probability is dapat equal sa 1 and then yung bawat isa, yung bawat uh, corresponding probability ay dapat nasa pagitan lang ng 0 and 1. So therefore, we can conclude na ito ay example ng discrete probability distribution. To compute the mean, so using the formula again, so anong gagawin pag nagko-compute ng mean, kagaya ng pinaliwanag ko kanina, so yung bawat value ng random variable, ita times lang natin sa corresponding probability nila. So ita times lang natin sa corresponding probability nila. So that is 1 times 1, 6, 2 times 1 over 6, 3 times 1 over 6, and then, ano, that is plus 2. 4 times 1 over 6 plus 5 times 1 over 6 and plus 6 times 1 over 6. Okay. So, kung uh, i-co-compute mo yan manually, so, pwede naman. Kasi, uh, ano to, similar fraction, ibig sabihin, pare-parehas yung denominator nila. So, madali lang kunin, no? Ang gagawin lang natin, multiply lang natin to. So, 1 times 1 over 6, that is 1 over 6. 2 times 1 over 6, so kung ayaw mo mag-cancel, ito lang ang itatimes mo muna. So, 2 times 1, that is 2 over 6. 3 times 1 over 6, so that is 3 times 1, 3 over 6. Plus, uh, 4 times 1 over 6, so that is 4 over 6. Ganun din dito, 5 over 6 and 6 over 6. So, uh, since uh, similar fractions tayo, so ibig sabihin, pare-parehas tayo ng uh, numerator, pare-parehas sila ng denominator pala. So, ang gagawin lang natin is add the numerator and copy the denominator. So, add lang natin yung numerator nila and then copy the denominator. So, kapag in natin yan, yan ay 21. No? So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 is 21 over 6 and then 21 divide 6 the answer is 3.5 so ibig sabihin uh, the average number of spots that would appear is 3.5 so madali lang siya no madali lang siyang computein basta meron ka nang alam mo yung probability distribution mo okay kasi minsan wala yung probability distribution ikaw yung gagawa mismo okay another example Suppose three coins are tossed. Let y be the random variable representing the number of tails. So find the mean of the probability distribution. So, ah, ito ay paulit-ulit ko ng binibigay na example na sa mga video lesson nato, sa video lesson, no, about random variable, the discrete probability distribution. So, ah, dun sa previous video lesson natin, so pinag kinuhari natin ng di ang discrete probability distribution ng problem nato. So, since number of tails ang kinukuha natin, tapos tatlong coins, what are the possible values? So, ito yung mga possible values ng random variable uh, y natin, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then, yung probability nito is 1 over 8, 3 over 8, 3 over 8, and 1 over 8. So, ngayon, kukumputin na natin yung value ng mean. Okay, so kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, so multiply the value of random variable times the corresponding probability and then get the summation. So 0 times 1 over 8 plus 1 times 3 over 8 plus 2 times 3 over 8 plus 3 times 1 over 8. And that is 0 plus 3 over 8 plus 6 over 8 plus 3 over 8. The answer is, uh, so since similar fraction din to, so we can add The numerator, 3 plus 6, 9, plus 3, that is 12. And 12 over 8, the answer is 1.5. So, yung mean value nito, nung kapag hinagis natin, or uh, yung average value nito, kapag uh, meron tayong 3 coins na tinos, and then kukunin lang natin yung number of tails, yung values ng number of tails, possible values of random variable, number of tails, so, ang makukuha natin na mean is 1.5. So, another example, the probability that a customer will buy 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 items in a grocery store are 3 over 
1 over 10, 1 over 10, and 2 over 10, and 3 over 10, respectively. So, what is the average number of items that a customer will buy? So, mas maganda ipakita natin through table. So, ito yung uh, mga items or number of items no, na bibilhin ng customer sa grocery store. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. With the corresponding probability. So, that is for 1. That is 3 over 10. So, for 2, that is 1 over 10. For 3, 1 over 10. For 4, that is 2 over 10. And for 5, 3 over 10. So, using the formula, we can compute now the mean value. So, 1 times 3 over 10 plus 2 times 1 over 10 plus 3 times 1 over 10 plus 4 times 2 over 10 plus 5 times 3 over 10. And then, Compute using your calculator. Pwede naman ay compute manually since same sila ng denominator. So, that is 31 over 10. And 31 divided 10, the answer is 3.1. So, therefore, the mean of the probability distribution is 3.1. This implies that the average number of items that the customer will buy is 3.1. Another example. So, this is now the application uh, by the way, class, uh, the mean of probability distribution ay tinatawag rin nating expected value or expected outcome. So, we can apply that through uh, problem solving. So, for example, itong number 4 natin. So, Sanders paid 20 pesos whenever the result of tossing two coins are both heads. So, kapag lumabat, lumabas daw, kapag hinagis yung dalawang coins, ay parehong heads. So, ibig sabihin si Sander ay babayaran ng 20 pesos. At kapag hindi naman both heads yung lumabas, so si Sander ay magbabayad ng 10 pesos. So, paano natin kukunin yung expected gain per toss? Okay, so paano gagawin? So, by applying the concept of computing the mean of discrete probability distribution, so, compute natin ito. So, kailangan lang muna natin ipakita. No, alam natin na ang dalawang coins, pag hinagis mo yun, may apat tayong possible outcomes. It's either head-head, head-tail, tail-head, or tail-tail. So, isa-isahin natin. So, babay uh, babayaran daw si Sander kapag ang lumabas ay both head. So, dito sa four outcomes or four possible outcomes, meron ng isa na pwedeng uh, ang lumabas ay dalawang head. So, ibig sabihin, yung probability na makakuha si Sander ng both heads ay one-fourth. And then, the probability na makakuha si, uh, that is na, ito dapat ay, okay, again, so ito dapat ay not both heads. So, ang probability na makaku makakuha si Sander na hindi dalawang heads ay three-fourth. So, mas mataas yung chance na hindi siya makakuha ng dalawang heads. So, paano natin kukunin yung expected gain per toss? So, using the concept in computing the mean of probability distribution, so, ilagay natin sa table. So, dito, sabi daw, 20 pesos ang ibabayad kay Sander kapag uh, both heads ang lumabas with the corresponding probability na one-fourth. And then, si Sander magbabayad ng 10 pesos kaya negative yung sign natin. Kasi, uh, maglalabas siya ng pera. So, negative 10 kapag hindi dalawang heads yung lumabas with the corresponding probability na 3 fourth. So, kung, kapag kukumpitin natin yung expected gain, so, using the formula, so, that is 20 times 1 fourth plus negative 10 times 3 fourth. So, you share uh, 20 times 1 fourth, that is 5. Positive times negative, that is negative. And uh, 10 times 3 fourth, that is 7.5 or 7.50. And 5 minus 7.5, the answer is uh, negative 2.5. So, ibig sabihin si Sander, okay, this means that Sander would lose 2 pesos and 50 centavos per toss. So, ano siya? Ibig sabihin, lugi siya, no? Kasi, uh, kailangan niya magbayad. So, yung expected gain niya sa bawat tira ay 
dalawang piso at 50 centavos. Another problem solving na pwede natin i-apply, no, yung uh, expected value, yung formula ng expected value or the expected outcome. So, ang, again, ang sinasabi ko ay yung mean ng pro of probability or the mean of discrete probability distribution ay tinatawag din nating expected value. So, this is another application. Your father said, if in one grading period, your grade in math is 90 and above, so he will add 50 pesos to your daily allowance. 20 pesos if your grade is 80 to 89, but decrease it by 10 pesos if your grade is 79 and below. So if the probability to get 90 and above is 12%, while you have 45% chance to get 80 to 89. So, what is your expected additional allowance per quarter? So, isa-isahin natin, no? So, sabi, so, magbibiga, dadagdagan ng father uh, 50 pesos yung daily allowance kapag ang nakuha mo na grade sa math ay 90 and above. And then, 20 pesos naman yung idadagdag kapag ang nakuha mong grade is 80 to 89. So, with the corresponding probability na 45% or that is 0 0.45. Dito naman, 12% or 0 0.12. Pero, babawasan ngayon yung daily allowance mo ng 10 pesos kapag ikaw ay nakakuha ng 79 and below. Kaya, negative yung sign natin dito. So, dito sa problem, hindi binigay kung anong corresponding probability nung uh, kapag nakakuha ka ng 79 and below. So, apply natin yung dalawang properties ng discrete probability distribution. So, ang sabi dun sa isang property, kapag sinam daw natin yung lahat ng probability or yung lahat ng corresponding probability dapat equal sa 1. So, yun ang gagawin natin. Dapat equal to sa 1. Since, ah, uh, nawawala yung corresponding probability ng 79 and below. So, ang gagawin natin, so since 100% dapat yan, so ang gagawin natin, 100% minus the sum nitong dalawa. So, ibig sabihin, yung corresponding probability na makakuha ka ng 79 and below is 43% for, uh, or 0 0.43. So, ganun ang gagawin. No? Apply nyo yung property na yon So, 0 0.43. So, ngayon, makukompute na natin kung ano yung expected additional allowance per quarter nung, uh, na makukuha. So, that is 50 times 0.12 plus 20 times 0.45 plus negative 10 times 0.43. So, you can use your uh, calculator if you want uh, to check, no? So, 50 times 0 0.12 plus 20 times 0 0.45 plus negative 10 times 0 0.43. The answer is, so, 50 times 0 0.12 is 6. 20 times 0 0.45 is 9. And negative 10 times 0 0.43 is negative 4.3. So, if you simplify this, the answer is 10.7 or 10 pesos and 7 centavos. So, ibig sabihin, uh, this means that the expected additional allowance per quarter is 10 pesos and 7 centavos. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.